If you hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Ink Dependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and this is a box from my friend Ian Schoen over at Schoen Design. And this is a pen that came out uh, a couple of days ago, and uh, I'm very excited to be able to show it to you. It's got my name on the side. How fun is that? All right, let's get in here. I've already cut the tape. Hey Mike, hope your week is going great. Miss you. Enjoy the pen, Ian. Ian is a good man. I like him a lot. All right, cool. Very nice uh, recyclable stuff here. Uh, I like that his material, like packing materials and stuff, are not overwhelming, but they definitely do the job perfectly. Have a fun <laughs> as a sticker. Pocky is a fountain pen. He looks so serious in this one with his like flat across mouth, like mm, like business mm, counting. Uh, and then <laughs> here's another one shown design. This is another Pocky the fountain pen. Except in this one, he looks jaunty and he has a caliper. Pocky, we're the same. All right. Uh, happy new pen day. Happy new pen day indeed. Thanks for supporting my work as an independent pen manufacturer from making pens for friends and family in my garage in 2010 to now having my own manufacturing space in Philadelphia. It's been quite the journey. Enjoy the pen and please keep in touch. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna. I talk to Ian all the time. Uh, got a question? Check out the FAQ page for videos and instructions on how to install the ink cartridge, get your pen to write, troubleshoot a dry nib, care and maintain your pen, identify ink color slash brand, and more, always more. Here is Pocky with Gritty, <laughs> the mascot of all Philadelphia. You can get a shirt with this design on it, and I think you should. I've, I wear mine a fair amount. I think it's a lot of fun. All right, next up uh, is one of the write pads, write pads that you... Right, right, notepads, right, pads, notepads, goodness. <laughs> My mouth doesn't know how to make words. I want to get to that. Uh, these are made in uh, Baltimore, I believe. And um, this is uh, this is really cool stuff. No, no, stop. My cat is trying to bomb my, my thing here. Uh, but uh, yeah, I really, I really enjoy right pad stuff. I use some of their stuff absolutely daily. Uh, last up in the box is this little guy. There's Pocky with his number six. Uh, and this is a reference to the Pocket Six, which was Ian's first fountain pen. This is a full-size number six nib in a pocket-sized pen that you can screw to post and becomes a perfectly good length pen for writing. I have two of them at my desk because I use these a fair amount. And you can get all kinds of different uh, sections and that sort of thing for these. See my other videos where I've talked about those at length because I like them. All right, let's finally get into this pen. Now let's pack this away. Okay, so this, inside this, this little bit of netting, this is a really good way to, to hold this pen. This is the Shone Ultim, sorry, what does he call this one? Uh, the Peak, <laughs> Peekaboo Edition. So this pen is in the same line of pens as the, uh, the Natural Ultim, the Black Ultim, and now this one. And these are all very fancy materials. So these are uh, made of Ultim, which is uh, polyether polyetheramide, which is uh, PEI. It's a very, uh, very nice uh, material that has uh, got a lot of strength and a lot of durability, uh, high melting points and all that sort of thing, very chemical resistant. Uh, and so they're very eye dropperable because they really just don't stain. And Peak is also in that line of plastics. This is polyether ether ketone is what that stands for, P-E-E-K. And there is the, there's the Peek-a-boo right there. See, it's a, it's a ghost and ghosts say boo and this is made of Peak. Also, that's adorable. Also on this one, he has been messing around with uh, you know, because he's a designer, he decided like, well, I don't know, let's uh, fancy this up and put my put my my name on there. Shown design DSGN. Uh, the rest of these don't have any of that. I think it would look pretty good on this, but one of the best things about the black Ultim is that it just like it looks like it's made of metal until you pick it up. It looks like zirconium or something with the way it's polished. Like you can see in the reflection there. It's 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 slick. Um, but this one does have shown design on it, and I'm totally fine with that. I think it looks nice and sort of like brings a little bit of something to this pen. One thing I've seen people say about Peak is like, I don't know, it's kind of boring. Well, Peak was my first fancy plastic. This is a uh, this is a, another pen made of Peak. This is the Kasama Una, and Peak is <laughs> it's an interesting color of material. Now, if you know me, you know I like wild colors, like this one that I had designed. 
but I also really like like very chill but kind of unusual colors. And this one seems like a good one to have a ghost on it because it always reminds me a little bit of like I don't know, like old bone or something like you go to a science lab and they got like a like a skull and you're like that's what this color is or like an off taupe or something of that and I, I i dig it you can machine these pens in a very thin way and so he had to do some design to uh, make sure that he could actually uh engrave into this given how thin it is because look how thin the lip of this thing is just like with the ultim very very thin uh materials once you have uh once you have machined it down and you can do that because of the strength of this material uh, you can also see inside here there is an o-ring keeping everything nice and snug no inner cap liner or anything like that but you don't really need one there's not as you can see really not any room in this cap for there to be a whole lot of air and so that'll keep your nib from drying out which is always a great feature that's what those cap liners are for and so if you design your pens tightly enough you don't you don't need one right so that also means your cap has to be like a certain shape or whatever, but you know, engineering. So there you go, a little O-ring in there, looking nice. Same kind of section and style as the Ultim and the Black Ultim. Uh, just, a, just a new and fancier material. This stuff is, in addition to being very difficult to uh, like destroy via chemical processes, you can just clean these off with just like rubbing alcohol. It's totally fine. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt it at all. Um, you probably shouldn't use ammonia based stuff on this. He says, uh, I, I know it's bad for Ultim. I'm not sure if it's bad for peak or not. I think peak can take some ammonia, but like, be careful, like don't soak it in pen flush or whatever, uh, until you hear otherwise. I'm not sure how it, how it reacts to that sort of thing. Uh, you have an O-ring here and then there will be some O-rings in here. I'm sure, but I can't see them. Let's see if I can take this apart a little bit more. I love disassembling things. I think it's the thing that Ian and I have in common. We get a pen, the first thing we do is just like take it apart. Well, he like looks at the outside and then he starts taking it apart. Yeah, you see there's O-rings and such in here. These are made so that you can eyedropper them. I'm not very tempted to eyedropper the, um, these pens with the opaque materials. Well, um, this one, I am always tempted to eyedropper just because uh, you can actually see the, the ink sloshing around and that's cool. But all these O-rings mean that you can absolutely eyedropper this thing without any worry. You don't need to put on any grease or anything like that. It is. Uh, it is machined and designed and O-ringed up so that you don't have to worry about that at all. I also really like that you can't see, you can't see the collar of the nib there. It's totally, totally in there. It's, it's good stuff. Good measurements. I went ahead and got a fine nib on this one. He still has apparently some of the old uh, Yovo nibs. You can see the scroll work and all that. Pretty, pretty nice. I might put a Mr. Nose nib on this one just because he's white and this is kind of white. That'd be kind of fun. But comes with uh, comes with a converter. You can also use standard international cartridges in these if you like. You can swap these nibs out with lots of other Yovo uh, or Yovo compatible nibs. And uh, there you go. Does it post? Totally posts. And it's so light that uh, you don't <laughs> you don't have to worry about posting it. Like that cap weighs essentially nothing, and it doesn't really add any weight to the end of the pen. So if you're a person that likes to post because you're worried about your cap rolling away, um, no worries. It posts nicely on those o-rings feels good and you don't have to worry about damaging peak this stuff is tough as nails uh let me grab my scale right quick uh let's not use that let's use high nose you gotta get down he has really wanted to be on my desk today all right so the peak pen comes in at 15 grams with the cap on let's take the cap off just for a writing writing weight 11 grams pretty nice let's see how that weighs up next to the ultim black and natural should weigh the same 12 grams it's one gram lighter than this one mr nose we have talked about this let's make sure this weighs the same it does so 12 grams just slightly lighter than the ultims uh but no less cool at all in fact i think with this color palette and these material palettes that's a really nice set of pens right there. Uh, now, as far as cost, they do go up as you go. So the regular Ultim uh, comes in at $250, the black Ultim at 260, and then the peak comes a little, in a little bit higher at 275. So these are not the cheapest pens on the market. Uh, however, these are pens that are gonna last for kind of forever. Like I, while they're very thin, and these materials are like, oh, this cap is so light and thin. Yeah, yeah, but it's Ultim, though. That's like, 
that's like one of the things about these or this is so light at 11 grams like it hardly feels like there's anything at all that's, a, that's great i mean if you're writing and your pen is very light and sturdy and you know you don't you just throw this in a pocket it's great i i uh very excited about this can't wait to ink this up not sure what i'm gonna ink it up with uh we'll have to We'll have to figure that out, but looking forward to it greatly. So thank you very much, Ian, for sending this out for uh, me to show everybody. And um, if y'all have questions, hit me up in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.